Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. If you're looking for the most undervalued investment opportunities in the world, click subscribe, join me and everyone in the community to ride this community, say commodity, bull market higher together, and we'll find those. I'll find those, someone on the channel will find those and put it in the comments section, the most undervalued investment opportunities there are out there. So today I'm gonna to go over gold and silver. Gold and silver are going to crush it. Uh, we have market conditions that are completely ripe for a gold and silver launch. A launch higher, not just a move higher, a launch higher. Uh, we've had this big long pullback and it's ended. We are in an uptrend. That pullback's done, it ceases to exist. We are now moving on up. So you guys better be positioned. You better have your companies that you like and you better just hold on. That's it. So let's look at some of the companies. Let's go look at their charts, see what they got. This is gold and silver. So this is what I say, hold on. Everyone needs to hold on to these companies. Let them make you rich. Uh, this is about being able to hold on and not getting fancy, not trading in and out, not doing anything stupid. And the more you transact, the more of a higher probability there is of something going on that's stupid. So again, this is only financial education, and that's all it is. So let's start with the price of gold itself. There's dollar gold. We've got that nice lead-in, cup, handle, and we're going to the upside. We are performing quite well today, and it's going to perform quite well in the future, I think. So gold's doing well. Silver, silver's got a very good pattern as well. I think when we break through this 30 mark, uh, we're gonna see fireworks. Fireworks, fireworks in silver. So what do you do? You do nothing. You get your companies and you do nothing. You, you wait for it. And that's what we're looking at here. This is the GDX ETF. GDX is the larger companies uh, and it's going higher. It's up 3.9% today. It is on the move to the upside. And it is in an uptrend. We, we know this, I've showed you guys this before, it broke this downtrend coming through, broke out, pulled back, higher low, higher high, and here we are going up. This is a new uptrend. Is it still good to buy? Yeah, it sure it is. This, you haven't missed much. So now, now is a good time to buy, yes, I like it, I like it. So that GDX is looking good. GDXJ, same thing. Same thing happening, it's coiling up, it's gonna break out of this little pattern here, uh, and it's gonna go into an uptrend. And GDXJ is going to be an excellent investment for those that are patient over the next decade. And, and I say decade because that's, that's really where all of the conditions manifest themselves. We are just at the beginning of this move. I mean, the beginning of the beginnings. We're like, maybe we get, we're in the first inning here. I mean, that, maybe that's it. The anthem stopped playing and, and we're ready to go in the first, first inning here. And these big chart patterns are all starting to break. I'm gonna show you some of these big patterns. Here's Max Silver. Mag, look at Max Silver. I mean, guys, oh my. We've got, we've got this big pattern here. Many, many years. And we're breaking to the upside right now. Of course I own mag silver. Of course I'm gonna sit in there and just hold it. This is big. Look at the volume on the on the bottom there. See that volume? The volume saying, buy me. Buy me, I'm about to I'm about to do a a, a rocket launch, a moonshot. We're gonna we're gonna hit this into the bleachers here. And and it's just starting. This is just starting. So mag silver is looking excellent. First majestic silver, another one. Look what look at the last bull market back here. Look at that thing. Look at like a dollar up to 20 something bucks in T minus hardly any time. What do you think's coming? This is a massive pattern, guys. Massive. All the way back to 2011. Broke to the upside, back tested. What do we do on back tests? We buy the back tests. This is going to be the back test of a lifetime right here. Bigger patterns, they do take a little bit longer to materialize and and develop and and 
this is showing us that we are going to have a problem in the dollar. Like this is going to be a big move. And these companies are our savior. So I own quite a bit of First Majestic. I own Mag Silver. Here's Hecla. Hecla's breaking to the upside. It's breaking its like a 60 year pattern. This thing is ready to go vertical. And I don't know if it's going to go vertical, but it's, it's ready to make a big move to the upside. And Hecla is one of the companies that I think is going to do pretty well. EXK, I like this one quite a bit. You can also draw. You can also draw. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. What's going on there? <laughs> you can also draw here. Kind of bring this down here. Draw line through there. That's really the big boy line right there. We're breaking through that right now. And that line right there, once we get through it and we get through these highs in here, you're going to start feeling like, like you won the lottery here or the Olympics or something. Because it's going to move and it's going to move quite substantially. Silver has a lot of good upside. And that's why I'm looking at so many of these silver companies. Because I think over the next 10, 20 years, these are going to absolutely explode higher. You're, you could like just start moving the decimal over. It could be $66 a, a share. Or maybe $660. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see how high it goes. MMMGF. This is a small uh, silver exploration company. I own a little bit in it. Got some nice volume. And it is coming on up. Come on up. Come. That's looking good. Discovery Silver. Uh, this guy has a lot of silver in the ground. Uh, Eric Sprott, it's one of his largest holdings. And it's one of my larger exploration holdings as well for a silver company. Coming on up, and looks like this thing's ready to go. I mean, this thing wants to, it wants to break. And I think this will do very well over a long time, time frame. Here's another one, Silver Sands Resources, much more speculative. Up to you guys if you want to participate in it. I don't have much in it. Wheat and Precious Metals, looks like it's pulling to the upside, looking fantastic. That's WPM. Here's Silj. Silj is looking pretty good. Um, another ETF, I think that Silver Junior Mining Companies, uh, definitely one that I would look into and it looks like it's ready to go to the upside here and franco nevada another royalty company i like my royalty companies uh this thing's moving to the upside looking fantastic so uh gold and silver i i am like very much positive about gold and silver uh precious you know other precious metals like platinum as well they're all good uh, get the physical in your hands. Get it in your hands because uh, this stuff's not going to... I think we're literally going to run out of some of this stuff in the next 10 years. We're going to run out. Like literally, you're not going to be able to get it. And the prices are going to be far, far higher than where they are today. So uh, when you look at this at, as a, at its entirety and you look at the market conditions, you look at the pressures that are going to be felt by the dollar, uh, this sector is going to do absolutely fantastic. And this is... A sector that people look at for safety and if, if we have problems with the dollar this is the sector that's going to benefit because people are going to run to it uh, so i think having a wide array of investments in uh, gold and silver in the mining companies in the physical metals it's 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 a very smart allocation so if you guys like this content give me a thumbs up appreciate you guys listening uh this is finding value